buenas tardes, buenas noches, sean bienvenidos a este su canal de Guacamole Internacional Retomando Max Payne 1 El clásico de Remedy Entertainment En conjunto con 2D Realms y Rockstars para consolas Estamos retomando esta aventura de textiles, detectives que estilo no es justo donde nos quedamos Estamos en el capítulo 3 de la parte 1 del sueño americano, haciendo la de Bogart. Si la memoria no me falla, ya habíamos llegado al el cuarto de, de, este, de Rico Muerte. Pero antes, un breve secreto. El maloso en el baño. ¿Qué es esto? I didn't want to know what had happened here. It was not a pretty sight. Muerte had received a letter. Our investigation had turned up nothing to link Angelo Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Valkyr. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself. It was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw-up. The Punchinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. And we need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. <laughs> Mala suerte. Oh, 
hooker had left her diary on the table. The diary belonged to a hooker named Candy Dawn. The read would have made a vice cop blush. Had talks with the mystery hag over the phone again. Sent to the latest one-eyed Alfred tape. As long as the hag keeps paying for the tapes, the old man could come every day for all I care. She had a nice sideline, making secret X-rated flicks of her clients and selling them to the highest bidder. They would get her killed if her V-fix for the day didn't do it first. The old service elevator rumbled down to the bowels of Jack Lupino's hotel. A winter storm warning is in effect in the whole tri-state area as both freezing rain and heavy snowfall continue. Many roadways are already closed and people are advised to stay indoors. The severe blizzard has ravaged New York for three days now with no end in sight. We'd been snowed from the start in the Valkyr case. The forecast said there was plenty more where that had come from. But the snowbound city was on my side. Less chance of innocent bystanders getting caught in the crossfire.
Exhibit number one, a newspaper. A dead man tied to a chair lay on the boiler room floor. Captain Baseball Bat Boy has an unbeatable track record in superhero death matches. <laughs> but a six pack of root beer gets me every time. The murder weapon was a baseball bat, now lying in a pool of drying blood next to a newspaper folded open on a Captain Baseball Bat Boy comic strip. There's one long night. Yeah, and what would you eat? Suck blood from penguins? Nah, Eskimos, man, Eskimos. with the guns. Trust me, you don't want to piss me where off. Gentlemen, let's do business. Green for green. Cheers to green-eyed angels. Amen. A lifetime ago, this would have gone down as a narcotics arrest. Transparent cylinders glowed green, full of Valkyr. It was dirty money. There was a key on the table. Antes de continuar en este recorrido a través del Max Payne, recuerden darle me gusta, me gusta, comente, suscríbanse, esfuerzo en ese amor, así se su canal de Boca Monita Nacional. Yo los estoy viendo en próximos episodios de Max Payne, solamente aquí en Boca Monita Nacional. <risa> <risa> 